Okay, now I replaced both transistors as you can see. They're both in there. This one here on the right hand side gets a plastic case. I gotta put the light down in a minute. If for some reason they have a plastic case on the top of this one here to I guess to insulate it. And two screws hold that down. Now where is the other screw? It's here somewhere. Uh, and I'm not seeing it. Oh here it is. Hiding behind my screwdriver. So yeah, this one gets a plastic case on it, which gets attached with two Phillips screws. Whoops. Oh, this ain't fun. I'm trying to hold the camera and work at the same time. It just ain't working. <laughs> Come on. There's one started. And the other. It's just a case, I guess. Maybe the uh, case of the transistor is electrically hot. And they did this to uh, ensure that it don't short up against anything else. some light back on the subject so yeah there it is now they're both in and hopefully when we plug this in it'll work and uh, the volume on these pedals is controlled by a Vactral they have a lamp in here along with a CDS cell and it changes the amount of brightness that uh, you know reaches the CDS cell by this uh, little lever here that goes up and in and out and that's what gives you your volume differences to control the volume. Yeah, so hopefully it'll work. And here's the old ones here. I'm going to give Chris back uh, both of them. This is the bad one. I put the marker on it. I marked it up with a marker so I know which one was bad. But they are two different, uh, two different numbers anyway. But yeah, there's the old ones. This one's still good. I checked this one. There's nothing wrong with it, but he told me it was getting hot. So I don't want to take the chance and uh, find out that the transistor is actually bad. So I'd rather be safe than sorry, just change both of them. So that's it. We'll see what happens. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hello, YouTube. I was able to <clears throat> get a new transistor for. Uh, Chris's uh, power supply here for his organ. Here's the old one. And remember about yesterday, I did, did this video yesterday. I showed how when you connect it from the emitter to the collector, you're getting a reading, which you shouldn't get anything on this NPN transistor. I said, I said yesterday in my video, it's supposed to be an insulator. Now here's the new transistor. It's an NTE243, which is the same equivalent replacement for what I'm going to change here. And you see, when I do, the, do it with the new one, you notice there's no reading. It's zero ohms as it should be. However, if you check the emitter-base junction between uh, base and emitter and base and collector, you'll see that it tests the same as the bad one. See, I've got around 70 ohms there from base to emitter. And from base to collector, I have about 15 ohms. And you go to the bad one, and it reads exactly the same thing almost. Look at that. You know, a little bit less than 70, but it's close. And then again, emitter, emitter collector, or base collector junction. Again, around 15 ohms. But like I said, what makes this bad is the emitter to collector resistance, where that has about 25 ohms on the bad one. And the good one has infinity, as you can see, infinity. Nothing there. Nothing's supposed to be there. So I'm going to change this transistor out, and hopefully that'll fix the problem. But also, when you're changing power transistors, you need silicone heat sink compound. It's uh, like a white grease that helps uh, put the, dissipate the heat through the transistor and into the case, but these also have to be insulated. So when you buy the new transistors, they supply you with a brand new sheet of mica. You have to grease both sides of this with the uh, silicone compound. And they also give you also two brand new spacers that go in the hole so the 
bolts don't short out against the case when you're tightening the transistors down. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna change both transistors. One's an NPN, one's a PNP, uh, because they're complementary transistors. In other words, the one works with the other one. Now the other one I'm replacing is with an ECG244. This is the PNP transistor which I'm also going to like I said change and you can see here they it comes with uh, you know also the mica the mica insulator and the uh, I guess you can call these bushings so yep we're gonna, you know, we're gonna put both of them in there and hopefully this will be alright I didn't check this one yet let me check this one now, now this one's the PNP whoops sorry about that so with the PNP now the base is going to be negative and we'll go base to emitter first and again that's around 70 ohms which is normal and then base to collector about about 15 ohms and then if we do emitter base now on a PNP the emitter is going to be positive and the collector is going to be negative so let's just make sure there's no leakage and there isn't. As you can see, it's infinity, which it's supposed to be, because again, it's not biased. So yeah, that's the PNP, and that's the NPN over here. We're going to change them both, and uh, we'll find out if it's going to work. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. Join my channel, please. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.